Hello everyone, Akash this side. Welcome back to another coding video. So friends, in this video, we will talk about how to share data across MFEs. So friends, if you remember, this is the project that we have created while we were learning about module federation. So before talking about like how we can share the data across MFEs, let's have a look at this code setup first. So in this code setup, what we have done is we have created two MFE folders like MFE one and MFE two. So these are like different, different micro front ends. And this is one micro front end that is integrated inside this another micro front end that is our container application. So, so if you will have a look, this is our container application, basically inside which we have integrated this micro front end, which is hosted over here, localhost colon 3002. Okay. Now let's have a look at like. This is a simple JSX that we have written over here, the product listing. And this is a simple JSX that we have written over here. As we can see, we have a simple text card application. We have a button. So how we are going to share the data? So let's suppose uh, from this particular thing on clicking this change text of container, which means that we are trying to change the text of this product listing that is our main application host application or we can say container application from this micro front end app so let's say if we are going to type over here let's say anything let's say landing page okay and and the expectation is that when we are going to click on submit then this particular text should get changed to landing page something like that so uh cool so this is what I have done in this, like you can see that we have a simple change text of container, the button, and on clicking this, we are simply toggling our below content, which is the input box and the submit button over here. So this is the simple react code that I have written over here. And I will also push the code to my GitHub account. You can simply take a checkout from there as well. Now let's talk about like different, different approaches via which we can do the same. So there are like different methods using which we can share the data across MFEs. So let's have a look at the two methods. Like number one could be using APIs. So using APIs, what I mean is that your this MFE application, the MFE two, what we can do over here is, uh, we can simply have one post API that will take this form data, anything that we are going to write over here. And on clicking submit, we are going to hit that post API. Cool. And similarly, in our container application, we can use one gate API to fetch the data of this form and to render over here. Cool. So this is the number one method that we can do. Now let's talk about another method, another approach that we can use is events. We can create custom events. Okay. Let's suppose we are writing anything over here, test, and on clicking this submit, we can like emit, or we can say we can dispatch an event. And we can simply listen to that particular event on our container application and uh, we can react to the data that we are getting. So let's try to code this out. Okay. The second approach, because for the first approach, we will be needing API and I don't have API right now. So let's try to mimic the second approach and second approach is also widely used. So let's have a look at it. So friends on handle submit, what we have to do is we simply need to create one event. Uh, that is the custom event. So how we can create the custom event? Let's have a look using new custom event. And inside this, this is going to take the name of the event that we are creating. Like let's suppose change, change text. And then it is going to take the payload. What we need to send the data that we need to send for this particular event. So on detail key, we can send an object that is going to the name and the value will be text whatever text we are writing in our input box, something like this. Now, what we need to do is another step will be sim will be to simply dispatch that particular event, something like this. So our, so our role over here is done. That is on clicking handle submit. That is on clicking handle submit. We are simply creating a new custom event and we are dispatching it. Now let's come to this particular MFE one. That is our host application. Okay. Now what we can do over here is, so friends, I hope you have followed me, followed the MFE series, because if you have not followed that particular series, then 
you won't be able to get the idea of this particular code what i am doing okay so i will leave those links in the description box you can have a look at those videos as well now over here we need to change this particular text on the basis of the communication that we are receiving from uh, the particular mfp so let's have one state over here as well set text equals use state default value is empty string okay so let's say default value is not empty string we can have the default value as product listing page something like this now now inside the use effect what we can do what we can do is we can simply add one event listener to the event that we are trying to listen so over here it will take the value that is change text and it will have a callback over here that will be triggered whenever uh, it will listen to that you know uh, dispatch event now over here first of all what we can do is we can simply log if we are receiving something event dot detail dot name if you remember we have event dot detail dot name over there so let's have a look at this thing if it is working or not so what we can do is let's try to write something like test let's click on submit cool we are receiving the value from the dispatch event now simply the next step will be to set the text that is e dot detail dot name something like this and friends we can simply use that text over here so it will be dynamic now text something like this now let's have a look if this is working or not one more thing uh, let's have let's add the like empty dependency array over here now let's refresh the page once and let's see if this works or not so over here i'm going to type landing page let's see if this product listing gets converted to landing page or not cool so friends as we can see this particular text was changed when we clicked on submit okay so friends as we can see this particular text over here was changed when we clicked on submit let's see if we try to change it again if this works or not cool this is working as we can see so this is one of the approach using which we can share data across mfes okay so friends uh, let's uh, discuss one more thing that i wanted to discuss with you all what i actually wanted to discuss was that if we want to share the code okay uh, across different teams so like there are like two approaches mostly used that is build time and run time so mfes that is micro front end architecture it is it is basically the run time approach okay why it is run time approach because as you can see over here uh, we get we get the access to the data okay on run time over here you can see we have got this remote entry dot js cool so as you can see localhost 3002 so we have got this uh, access to this particular code on runtime so this is generally preferred when you are working like let's suppose you are working on some sort of e-commerce website and uh, let's say your team is working on the home page and for the cart like you know cart functionality that will be accessible on this particular route that is slash cart you want another another team to work on that so if you want to get the entire application from a second engineering team okay so for that particular purpose mfes are best for that particular scenario but but for the scenario like you have the home page and you want uh, like small small components for this particular scenario mfes are not best you should make use of uh, build time packages like build time approach which is using npm packages libraries why because let's suppose this is making one api call and you are using like around four instances of this so four api calls will go and that will be performance heavy so that's why i just wanted to tell you that where you can use runtime approach and where you can use the build time approach okay cool so friends one small announcement that if you are preparing for your upcoming front end interviews then you can connect with me for any mock interview or tips for this particular link okay and yes that it is so friends i hope you have learned something new from this particular video like how to share content data across mfes and if you have learned something new then don't forget to like share, and subscribe and thank you for watching bye